Hi, this is Dr. Jason Barker with the Natural Athletes Clinic, and I want to talk to you today about muscle cramping and spasms. So who gets these? Mostly guys, although women are certainly prone to muscle cramping and spasms too. But most often it happens in men in about two to one compared to women. So why is that? Well, most of the time, muscle cramps are not a huge mystery. You go to the doctor, you've got cramps, or you, you know, you've read this on the internet somewhere, oh, you need more potassium, it's all about potassium, go eat some bananas. Well, who's done that? Who's had cramps and gone home, eaten a ton of bananas and had nothing happen? Well, it's very common because there's a lot more to cramps than a potassium deficiency, even though that's kind of what's highlighted all over the place. Kind of like you need to drink milk for calcium, that's the only way you're going to get calcium is milk. Not true. Okay, so why are you not getting enough minerals? Do you eat a junk food, fast food, processed food diet? If you do, you're not getting enough minerals and electrolytes. And by the way, electrolytes are minerals, but we'll use that term interchangeably for our talk today. So a food that is high, or food or diet that's highly processed is very low, relatively low in minerals and electrolytes. So you need to be eating a lot of plants, things that grow in the dirt are loaded with minerals and electrolytes. So think tubers, you know, carrots, salads, lettuce, all that stuff that comes out of the soil is rich in nutrients. So whole foods, fresh foods, things like that are going to help up your mineral content in your body. So ideally you'll have fewer cramps. Now, what if you're already doing that? Well, are you taking a medication or doing something else that's blocking the uptake of those minerals? So you need to think about things like acid blocking drugs, Prevacid, Prilosec, things that limit the acidity of your stomach will keep you from absorbing those minerals. And those minerals need a high acid environment in the gut to be absorbed properly. So if you're constantly putting the fire out with an acid blocking drug, you're, not gonna, you're gonna have a harder time absorbing those minerals. Are you taking a diuretic? So a diuretic is sometimes called a water pill. So if you're a little bit swollen or most often if you have high blood pressure, if you have a diuretic, you're losing a lot of fluid in the urine. With that goes a lot of the minerals. That can cause cramping too. Do you drink too much alcohol? Well, alcohol is bad news for minerals in your stomach. It's also bad news for vitamins in your stomach. It keeps them from being absorbed properly. And also, guess what? Alcohol is a diuretic. So if you're drinking too much, drinking too much alcohol, you're going to have a problem with cramps. Now, other things. There are other foods that have chemicals in them called tannins, namely coffee and wine and tea. Tannins are chemicals that keep you from absorbing the minerals too. So if you're somebody who drinks coffee all day long and has a couple of glasses of wine or tea at night, well, you're going to have cramps or you're going to be a lot more likely to get cramps because of those foods. So you need to cut down on all of that stuff or probably get all of them out of your diet if you're suffering from those nasty calf cramps. Okay. What else is going on? Well, are you dehydrated? A lot of people seem to think they're not, and a lot of people actually are, and this is why they get cramps. Okay, it sounds like kind of common sense, but a lot of times people just are not getting enough fluid in. And when they are, they're just chugging straight plain water. So plain water will go in, sure you'll get hydrated, but it comes right out. So you've done this. You're probably drinking a lot of water all day long, and it seems like every time you take a drink, you go to the bathroom. Well, you need to put some electrolytes in your water. That'll help make that water stickier, so to speak, and then you'll hold a little bit a little bit more of that water in your body, and that'll reduce your chances of getting cramps too. Last things to look at are your thyroid gland and your vitamin D levels. So if your thyroid is not working properly, if it's going too slow or if it's going too fast, that can set you up for some painful muscle cramps too. And then vitamin D is an important vitamin, of course, for many things in our body, but one thing it does is kind of orchestrates how our muscles work at a deeper level. And we know that people who are deficient in vitamin D can also get cramps. And then the last thing that we suggest people do is take a lot of magnesium. So magnesium is just one of the minerals or one of the electrolytes that helps regulate muscle function. But the cool thing about magnesium is that it's a very gentle muscle relaxer. So if we can get your magnesium levels up a little bit, and by the way, most people are often, they're pretty deficient in magnesium because again, they don't get a lot of those whole foods in their diet, nuts, seeds, grains, um, plants, tubers, things like that. They're low in magnesium and when we get it bumped up a little bit, the muscles are just a little bit more relaxed and they're less prone to spasming and cramping. So I recommend everybody take a couple hundred milligrams of magnesium every day if they're having issues with cramping. So. There you have it. There's a bunch of reasons that you might be getting cramps. So 
take a look at all of those and I would incorporate all of those and let's see what happens with your cramps. I bet you're going to have some good luck with that. All right, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys soon.